It's time for my favorite unboxing of the whole year. I've got my new loot from Briar and I've got a couple of models from Halloween's past that I'm gonna open up. The first part of my haul was this fun new sweatshirt that I got from Stormy Strike. It came with these awesome vintage goodies and stickers. Thank you so much, I love everything. First up, I'm pretty sure this little guy is my stable mate. Two of those. And then this box. I had to take it a little bit easy this year. I normally try to grab at the stable mates to get one of each and I usually get the hoodie. This year I just couldn't manage it. I love the design this year, but for the cost, I just, I, I couldn't quite do it this time. A little plush. Two more blind bags, the pin, and Slither. I have Spectre already out with me. I ordered him the day he was released, so he came pretty early, and he is super cool. Spectre was designed by artist Lauren Hofer for this year's 1-9 Halloween horse. He's on the Ashquar Arabian by Brigitte Ibiral. He's got loads of metallic sparkle in his copper orange and violet purple color. He's got orange eyes and markings over his face that to me look like another ghost. His belly says Spectre 2023 with a little ghost in gold. And mine is missing a lot of his little white dots on his neck. I guess the factory forgot to remove that masking before glossing him. He's got high whites with wraith-shaped edges and orange hooves, and I love how his color gets darker on top. To keep up with tradition, let's read his box. On this All Hallows Eve, something chilling has slipped from the shadows. Emerging from the darkness into the moonlight, Spectre is a hauntingly beautiful sight to behold. This animated stallion is covered in ghastly ghosts. With their mouths parted in silent screams, the swirling ghosts have Spectre pawing at their phantom touch. His unique coat coloring melts from a deep purple to metallic burnished orange that pops against his white markings and is completed by a glossy finish. Painted with a white mask that gives him a spooky grimace, Spectre will continue to haunt you all night as his ghostly white markings glow in the dark. Hey, I'm gonna start with the pin. It's really great this year. He's got all those little ghosts and all his little, the phantom dust. The plush is Draco. He's cute too. <laughs> oh man, I love the plushies. They're, <laughs> they're so small and so fun. And I love their clever designs. This little guy is a lilac purple with gray and white mane and tail. He's got a Dracula inspired cape and bow tie, pointy little eyebrows and red embroidered eyes little fangs, and a black star that hints at a widow's peak. Cute little guy. I really am liking his striped mane and tail. Slither has come in the fun new 
purple box with the new design. He's also got this. The new eco packaging. I know a lot of people aren't happy about that for some reason. I think they're concerned about their models, but I've never had an issue. All of mine have been safe. I just, I really applaud Briar for taking that step to reduce plastic. Ooh, he is really cool. When they revealed that sneak peek in the Collector Club newsletter, I was thinking it was a Halloween classic. And then a couple friends and I were speculating that it would be maybe Swamp Thing. And we were guessing Malik, which I love. I love this mold. We now know that Slither is a snake meets quagga design for this year's 112 scale Halloween model. He says Slither 2023 on his belly with a tiny snake, and his design is by Christine Jordan on the Malik mold by Sarah Minkovich Brunig. He's got this neat, deep, muddy purple that shows up in the shadows and is really hard to capture on camera. His green is full of metallic sparkle and some brassy golds in there too, down along the bottom. There's black shading at the edges of his mane and muzzle, and his quagga stripes are actually scales and snakes. Their heads and tails wind through his design, with a snake as a dorsal stripe and what looks like a cobra over his forehead. I love the design this year, and he's got a really great glow. Hey, blind bags. I love them all this year. They're all so fun. I do really want one of each. I don't even care who I start with as long as I can eventually trade or land the full set with, with these orders. First one. Nevermore. Artist Lauren Hofer designed the 1-9 Nevermore and has minified it for us onto the Cantering Morgan Stablemate sculpted by Lara Skillern Sailor. Mini Nevermore has the same black webs and flourishes and ravens with a white skull on the offside. The pink on mine is a little more gold, but the lavender shading in the hooves and tail looks spot on. The intricate details in the small size are really nice. Number two, I'm gonna try to guess. Okay. It is Cornelius. Oh, he's so fun. This is a great start. This guy is so laughably cute, I just love him. His paint feels lacquer thick and it's got some metallic sparkle. The blending from white to orange to yellow was done really well and the pinks in his ears and muzzle and around his eyes is nice too. Yellow hooves up front, orange in the back. Lauren Hofer put this design on Kathleen Moody's mule done after Cornelius, the micro run web special from October 2017. I'm gonna try to guess again. All right, well. Number three. Another Nevermore. And number four. I am so happy 
Wow, that is just awesome luck. Thank you, CCG, for picking from different boxes. Oh, how fun. Hooray, that makes me so happy. This guy's design was also minified by Lauren Hofer and put on the standing Frisian sculpted by Josine Vingerling. He's based off the 2020 Halloween horse apparition, originally designed by Christine Jordan, who has been creating our recent 112 Halloween models. He's covered in a purple to blue to green color shift interference with some nice pearlescent sparkle. And his spooky wraith faces and eyes design set the background for a really nice glow. These two secondhand models are Halloween models. And I do already have them, but I'll show you who I got and why I got duplicates. If you can see the yellow box, you know he's old. If you watched my video where I showed every one of the 1-9 Halloween horses, I mentioned wanting six of this guy, and I decided that I wasn't kidding, and I really do want six of him. And I got this one. Because he came with this awesome promotional flyer that went out and it looks like it lists the shops and dealers that were going to carry this guy. No, well, there's a couple stores where I live. That surprises me. They are, I think, both out of business now, but oh, I thought this was so cool. And it's funny because this guy lived just a couple miles away. So he didn't have to travel far when he was shipped to me and that, that was kind of a fun surprise too. I think I'm gonna get him out. He's got his brand new ties on still. So he's been in this box the whole time. I'm gonna get him out. This is the Halloween, he shall be free. somebody's old note. Oh, it's all very exciting. It gives me butterfly tummy. Like, he's been in here so long and he's a brand new model and he's one of my top favorite Halloween horses. I'm up to three now. He's my third. So I'm halfway there. I wonder if I'll end up with one that I just leave in the box. Maybe. I lean more toward freeing the ponies, but I also love ephemera and packaging and Kind of cool to have one that's maybe still original to hit all of his packaging and just left in the box, maybe. I'll have to think about that. There he is. If you want a really thorough look at this guy and his history in the series, you can check out my Halloween horses video. Okay, this one, I got her because I am on the hunt for one that is missing a coat of paint. According to IDYB, there are some merry widows out there 
who didn't get their top coat of paint. It's kind of hard to shop online because lighting is always bad and pictures are always bad and it's really hard to tell exactly what's going on. So at one point I did have three of this model and I sold the duplicates because they were all pretty close in color. And this one, I did a buy it now because she looked a little bit different. She looked really black. And I'm hopeful that's what I've got. You never know with online photos. Oh! I don't think she's quite what I thought. And I wonder if, I think on IDYB it states that she didn't get her top coat of black. So maybe she's really green? Or maybe she didn't get her top coat of green, so she's really black? I can't remember. This one looked different enough that I snagged her. And I think it was just another case of bad lighting. It looks like she's been out of her box before. Someone's definitely taken her out. So now I'm a little nervous about box rubs. Let's just give her a quick check. Okay, her offside looks all right. You can definitely see the green. She's not as black as I thought she'd be, based on the pictures. She's still fun. I'm gonna get her sister down and compare the two. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. That's alright. It was worth a shot. Cute girl. I've been working on my Halloween collection to catch up on past releases, so I'm after a couple of the classics, but I have been able to snag a few. I'm thinking about doing an unboxing video for the past Halloween models that I've been able to acquire. They've all been packed away in their shipping boxes for months and months. I haven't really been able to get into them and admire them, so... I'm gonna try to make time for that and have that be another October video. For now, this is my 2023 haul. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween.